Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and today we are discussing theoretical yield. We are given a specific amount of two reactions. The theoretical yield is the amount of products that would ideally form, assuming the reaction goes to completion. We are going to do a sample problem and work through it. I am going to talk through and provide a visual accompaniment. If we go too fast, feel free to pause. The sample problem, sodium metal and chlorine gas reacts to form sodium chloride. Given 5.00 grams of sodium metal and 7.00 grams of chlorine gas, calculate the theoretical yield of sodium chloride. First, we must determine the limiting reactant. We write out the chemical equation and then convert the masses of the reactants to moles. So 5.00 grams of sodium is 0.217 moles and 7.00 grams of chlorine is 0 0.0987 moles. Okay, from there, we use our answers and the mole ratios to determine the limiting reactant. We know that two moles of sodium reacts with one mole of chlorine, so we divide and find that sodium is in excess and chlorine is the limiting reactant. From there, we know that two moles of sodium chloride are produced for every mole of chlorine reacted. So the theoretical yield of sodium chloride is two times the number of moles of chlorine. So once we've found that, we convert that back to grams, and that gives us our answer, 11.5 grams of sodium chloride. Things to remember, start by converting to moles, Determine the limiting reaction, don't forget the mole ratio, calculate the theoretical yield, convert back to grams, use correct number of significant figures. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.